about to play this recording, bitch, and then I'm going to tell you what I think about it. I don't feel like y'all can hear that shit. How I need you to hear that shit. Hold on. Because I, I need you to, like, hear that shit. Been incarcerated for almost half a year. Over a gun that the DA's lied and said I shot. In 2021, they demanded I take a DNA test. I took that test with no pushback, delay, or question. Not only because I knew I never shot the gun, but mainly because I was 100% positive I never even touched this gun. In my trial, the verdict of guilty or innocent depended heavily on my DNA results. With the help of L.A. Crime Lab's DNA expert Randy Zapata, D.A. Kathy Tarr, and Alex Spott completely manipulated my DNA results and lied to the world, the enough. media, and most importantly, my jury, by stating my DNA on the gun was inconclusive. That was an absolute lie. They went on further to say inconclusive means that he cannot be excluded from the gun. My new attorney, Jose Baez, hired one of the best DNA experts in the nation to carefully analyze the same DNA test the fair and correct way. The results came back exactly as I knew this whole time. My DNA is 100% excluded and 100% eliminated from the gun. Okay, so now you got to take your stupid ass back to the drawing board. Where is that bitch that want to tweet our motherfucking day? Because this came out about an hour ago. And bitch, Megan Cuniff ain't said a word. Can we get a statement from the prosecutors? Anybody? Alexander? Kathy? Do you hoes have anything to say? Because we ain't heard from y'all. What's up? Now, I had a conversation with my people because the people came and had a conversation with me. And they told me the people was under review for Brady violations. Uh-huh. That's what they said. And they said that Kathy Todd, the day that Tori even did that first video... They said that Kathy Todd was in her office hooping and fucking hollering. Bitch, sure was. Oh. And to all of the people in the comment section hollering about, we need to see it. Yo ass ain't need to see them bullet fragments that went missing. Yo ass ain't need to see when they said that it was inconclusive. Yo ass ain't needed to see a motherfucking thing. So bitch, you don't need to see nothing now. Fuck you. Don't give a fuck. You don't need to see shit. You want to see some results, your ass wouldn't even be able to read. Bitch, how dumb you sound, ho. He told you what he said. His DNA was not on it. They manipulated the test. They stopped the test before it was even fucking done. All of this after they was breathing down academic neck after he deleted that tweet. Talking about the DNA was it was on there. What you mean the DNA wasn't on there? Whole time they knew the damn DNA wasn't on there. And now, now, let's talk about it. If Tory Lanez, which we know is a fact, and we'll get to the little piece in a second, but if Tory Lanez's DNA is not on this weapon, which we know it ain't at all, then that means he never touched that gun. That means that Megan and Kelsey then sat up there and flat-eyed motherfucking lied, and it is not possible that either one of their versions of events took place that way. And y'all want to know how I know y'all too motherfucking dumb in them comments talking about you want to see evidence? Tory did post the evidence. He said what he said, and then he posted page 55 from the motion, which substantiated his claims. The likelihood of him touching it was the same, and the, or the probability was the same as anyone in this fucking country, in this world, bitch, the whole damn population. He did not touch that weapon. Where are the naysayers? Because, bitch, I cannot hear you. That's that's what this is about. So, okay, let's continue listening. In other words, it's physically and scientifically impossible for me to ever have touched or shot this gun. After the correct and careful analyzation of my DNA testing, not only did our expert find my DNA 100% excluded and non-existent on the gun. Do you hear that shit? Non-existent and excluded. That means zero. Zero. But what's worse was the invalid and illegal tactics the prosecution chose to attain the results used to convict me. Based on the fundamentals of my DNA test, the only possible way for the L.A. crime lab to come up with an inconclusive result no. would literally be 
to stop the testing before it's finished or completed its final results. So wait a minute, though. He said the only way that they would have been able to get an inconclusive since it was revealed that his DNA was not on it is to stop it before it's finished. Now, isn't that logical? Doesn't that make sense to you? Even as somebody who's not in the lab. Well, of course it'll be inconclusive if I don't finish. I didn't get to finish. So yeah, that is <coughs> that is logical to me. But now you got to get into the corruption side of it. Who who told who to stop the test? If if somebody if a specialist is giving a test and all you're supposed to do is run it with no bias, what made you stop that test before it was done? You did that at the behest of who? Who the fuck told you to stop that test so you could get an inconclusive result? And not only do that, but then come and testify to it. Bitch. Now, huh, get into that. Get into that. Because not only did they corrupt the whole situation and sabotage it, the nigga got up there and testified. That, oh, yeah, this is what we found. And so that rabbit hole goes deep. And they did say that it was a female's DNA on that gun. But then turn around and told you DNA didn't matter. Now we know why y'all said it didn't matter, because y'all knew that it couldn't convict him. Ch <laughs> Would have or should have shown completely my full exclusion on the weapon. In other words, District Attorneys Kathy Tarr and Alex Bott lied to my jury with false, incorrect, and incomplete DNA results violating my due process and my 14th Amendment rights. My faith, my prayers, and my highest hopes go to the Honorable Judge Hereford that on May 8th, he rules in favor of the United States Supreme Court law, returning me to my freedom, my family, and most importantly, the justice of a fair trial. And so when he's sitting up here talking about um, exculpatory evidence and shit, okay, well, these are some of those things. Look at this stupid bitch in the comments. I'm looking at what somebody posted. You're sitting there um, because you kept trying to appeal. Just do your time. All these dumb hoes that don't even know what the fuck day of the week it is. Tara ain't appealed nothing, bitch. She ain't even been sentenced to do a damn appeal. So what the hell is y'all talking about? And we still waiting on that bitch with them wide pants to say something. That hoe ain't said a muddy fucking word. Let's pull up the receipts y'all want. So if everybody would take a look at the screen, for anybody that wants some, um, you know what I'm saying, receipts, you feel like, well, I want to see it. Well, there your stupid ass go right there. That's all the fucking receipts you need. Let's read it together. We're going to do the highlighted portion. I know y'all can't really see it, but I'm about to read it to you. It says in this worksheet, the LR regarding the defendant's uh, comparison to the gun was reported to be 1E2. The same LR was reported across the stratified population. Okay. Therefore, it was determined equally likely that a random member of the population was a contributor as it was that the defendant was a contributor. So the whole time I'm sitting up here telling y'all, that big ass hoe could have said you did that shit. And if you had been present, bitch, you could be in jail for that. Bitch, I was absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Because it says on page 55 of the motion that was submitted that bitch... That's what the likelihood was. They said, notably, however, the African-American controlled population had an LR of 3E2, meaning that it was marginally more likely that a random member, uh, a member of the black community had touched the gun versus they start touching that gun. It was more likely that, bitch, you, me, and your cousin and your mama them, who was all the way, bitch, in Florida, had touched that gun as he did. With that alone, there is no fucking reason why that man should be in jail. So as you can see, Taurus said, any random member of the black community could be placed as more of a contributor than I am. This is disgusting, shaking my head. And all these ditzy ass motherfucking Doras is sitting up here cheering for this shit. Bitch, you are cheering for the demise of your own kind of people. Bitch, this case, if it's if something doesn't change, it'll be that much easier to lock your ass up, my ass up, everybody up. Because they'll no longer even need DNA to fucking do it. You understand? So what are you really cheering for? Exactly. So it's this stupid shit that we do not have time for around this bitch. Now, I know y'all got something to say because bitch, y'all sending me requests. So hold on. 
I think it's time to light the blunt. Okay, and let's get some of y'all up here. Hold on. Um, Kelsey got a form of immunity, but that shit not finna transfer. And them hoes is over there scrambling. When the fuck you knew them to be quiet? Hey, Millie. 